Okay, so today's video, I'm gonna be reading all of the Xbox and E3 2021 rumors and sort of reacting to them, tell, telling you what I've heard and what I know. Let's go over them. All right, let me preface this by saying this is all rumor and conjecture. I don't think any of this is real. I mean, even if it is, I'm just I'm just reading what's been uh, talked about. Before we get to that, though, uh, just a reminder, all month long, I'm raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Uh, they're working to cure cancer and other rare childhood diseases. Click this link, check the description, uh, check the pinned comment for how to donate. We're working our way to... Uh, $5,000. Here's where we're at right now. We are at $1,780 of the $5,000 goal. Thank you so much to everybody who has donated. $10 will get a kid a toy. $250 will buy a family food in the cafeteria for a week. And $500 will give somebody a bone marrow transplant. It's a really, really good cause. Thank you to everybody. Okay, now let's talk about these rumors. So first up, I'm going to start with one that's fun because it was trending today on Twitter. And I, I tweeted one of my sassy tweets here. I'll read to you what I said really quick. So basically, uh, you know, IGN said Ubisoft is reportedly working on a PVP Tom Clancy game that combines elements of Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon and The Division. And I said, can we please just get a new Splinter Cell? <laughs> So that's the the report and the Iron Lord podcast crew, of course, was joking about this or talking about it a little bit with the sound effect popping in near the end. Uh, they're, they're pie in the sky dream about what would happen there. I don't know about you guys, but I would love it if there was a new Splinter Cell. I really, really like stealth genre, the stealth genre, and I would love to see that. Let me know what you think. Uh, next one, Xbox and Valve. So this one's a little bit more juicy. Your your immediate thought might go where mine went, where it's something about Game Pass, like Game Pass is coming to Steam. But what if it's switched both ways? So what if Game Pass works with Steam somehow, but Steam also works on consoles and somehow those two start working together in an interesting way? I think that, that's really, really interesting to me. And and if that is true, that would be really, really cool. Um, I don't know much more about this. I know like S Steam's working on stuff all the time that, that we don't know much about. So I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like every time I hear from Steam, they're talking about some VR thing. So we'll see what happens. This would be pretty big, and I would love to see anything from Valve that was just <laughs> More about gaming and not about VR. Uh, okay, this is one that I've I've had on the list to make a video about forever, and I just never did. But the Nintendo Switch Pro, there is a new rumor every week about this console that's probably not even going to happen. When the when the Nintendo Switch is already selling like hotcakes, do you really need to enter into the market for the Switch Pro? I mean, it just has this really great price point. It's sold at a profit. But anyway, the, the rumor is it's like 1440p docked. It's going to have a new fan to your screen. It's going to have, it's going to run better next gen games or whatever. The thing about Nintendo and the thing about the Switch is you don't need all that. <laughs> um, it, would it be nice to have? Yes, absolutely. Would I like it? Yes, I would. But like my Switch just stays docked and I'm like, I'm not commuting anywhere. I just, I don't have a good use case for my Switch right now. I'll play the I'll play Zelda when it comes out and, and that's about it. We don't know what's going on with Metroid. So I think if they did announce this, it would be tied with a Zelda game. And uh, yeah, speaking of the Switch, though, there is that Xbox Game Pass on Switch rumor that's been swirling around forever. And this comes from the Epic trial where, you know, Epic, uh, Microsoft and Sony and everybody was talking about stuff and they have this big redacted slide about all the Nintendo Xbox announcements coming and one of which is Game Pass coming to Switch or at least that's the rumor and hopefully that is true. All right, this one we got the Jez Corden corner basically here. Uh Xbox is going to acquire some IP or a few IPs and announce that during their E3 conference. That is from Jez. He says not to expect something like a GTA 6 or a CDPR, nothing crazy like that, but it could be something a little bit smaller. He didn't give any examples, but I think he was just joking around this about this one and it kind of blew up. So take that one with a grain of salt. 
The other one from Jez was that Forza 5 would be set in Mexico. I made a video about this one a while back. This is one of those rumors that just has been hanging around, just chilling there forever. So, okay, Forza 5 is in Mexico. Makes a lot of sense. A lot of gorgeous locations. I would absolutely love that. I, I think it would be really good for the franchise personally. So I'm all on board with Forza 5 being in Mexico. Separately, uh, there is a new dragon game from IO Interactive. That one's been swirling around forever. He was teasing it with the swirl thing. And I was like, what? What is this even supposed to be? It, it involves dragons and it involves IO Interactive. IO Interactive are the publishers of the Hitman games, as you may know. So look, that one, I'm like, are they going to bring back Scalebound? Like what dragon game? A Dungeons and Dragons game? Like as soon as he said dragon, I was like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> like I need to see the trailer. I, I like how dragons were used in Skyrim. Like when you were initially introduced to them, they're the big bad. They're the big threat. You should be, you should fear them. They're, or my favorite implementation was definitely demon souls on the bridge where you come up for the first time and it probably just nuked you. If you tried to go across that bridge, moments like that are great because then it's super rewarding when you actually fight and take them down. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just not that into fantasy. So I'm I'm really curious whatever that is going to be, but not as excited as I am about like Splinter Cell, for example. OK, a new Final Fantasy game. I don't really know much about this. There have been so many Final Fantasy rumors lately. Um, this one, I want to say it was a fighting game or something. I'll be honest, I didn't really pay much attention to this one because we already have Final Fantasy 16. We have Final Fantasy 14 uh, getting a new expansion. There's a lot of stuff going on with the Final Fantasy. Fran oh, Final Fantasy 7 Integrade is coming out right around the corner, right? There's that uh, mobile Final Fantasy game that could be what people are talking about there. But I mean, if, if it's like online and you can actually battle people with your character, maybe that would be interesting. But that just sounds like Final Fantasy 14. I don't know what this could be. The rumors. Is, I'm not sold on this one. This one's odd, right? So let's just move on to the next one. Uh, 2K, the 2K rumor, Marvel meets XCOM game. This one I could see. This one, this one's on the believability scale. I'll give it like a seven. So basically it's XCOM, but with Marvel characters. And we know that Marvel games, well, most Marvel games do well, at least on console. So if they're able to, to do that, and like if uh, the team that makes XCOM is working on the same thing for Marvel, heck yeah, like I love the XCOM games. So that, that would be really, really neat. Maybe it's not XCOM though. Like maybe it's something a little bit not turn-based. Because there was the Ultimate Alliance games, right? That were on Switch. That was really popular. But I don't know. All that sounds good to me. I would love a Marvel XCOM game. Any anything from that team, I would be down for. Uh, this is one that I just sort of saw in the mix. I know Sony's not going to be at E3, but uh, there was a rumor that Bioshock Four is going to be a PS5 exclusive. That is the long and the short of it. And sure, we don't. We have no idea what Bioshock Four is going to be. I. I would be pretty surprised if that one was a PS5 exclusive because as far as I know, they're not owned by any company. So for them to go console exclusive, Sony must have really sweetened the deal to make that happen. And especially with how Xbox has been with developers, I would be surprised that they would go for that. But time will tell. Bioshock 4 doesn't feel like something we're going to be seeing at E3 this year, but I wanted to throw it in the mix. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the next one, we will actually see Elden Ring. I'm just going to say, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I sure, whatever you say. And then uh, the one that I've talked about a few times is that Omen from Arcane will actually uh, be shown during E3. And I would really, really like that. And for me, I don't think it's Legacy of Cain Omen or Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. You know, this one that I always show up in all my videos, but like, Omen is just such a loaded word. Like, what if, what if they're just paying homage to Blood Omen Legacy of Kane, and that's why they codenamed it Omen? I think that would be really interesting. But if anybody could do something like that, Arcane is the company. Like, what if they got the Legacy of Kane franchise or the Blood Omen franchise? Oh, my goodness. That, that could be – we could be in for an amazing treat if that was the case. Anyway, those were all the rumors that I found, you know, doing a quick Google search. A lot of them are pretty fun. 
Um, I don't know. Let me know if you think any of them are true. Please make a normal Splinter Cell game. Whoever owns Ubisoft, you own that license. Just make a normal Splinter Cell game. Stop putting them in everything. Just just let Sam Fisher come back. Splinter Cell games were awesome, and you just... I don't know. I don't know what Ubisoft is doing with their franchise. Like, Prince of Persia is delayed into oblivion. Who knows when that's coming out? Uh, I'm glad, because I don't think anybody was too psyched about the original trailer. We're all kind of like, what? <laughs> I remember I remember that reveal. It was a little odd. And then uh, they throw Sam Fisher in everything except for his own game, which I know bums a lot of people out. Anyway, that's my rant. Hey, don't forget, raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Uh, thank you to everybody who has donated this far. The link is in the pinned comment and the link is in the description. Uh, what else? Hey, if you like this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed so far. Can you tell I'm tired when I screw up my own outro? Uh, what else do I got? Memberships. Memberships are turned on. They're a thing that YouTube does, so I turned them on. Thank you so much. I should go to sleep. I recorded this one instead of waking up in the middle of the night. I recorded it at, like, sleepy time. It's 1030. So <laughs> hopefully the next video is better. It's been really slow news-wise, so I've, I've been struggling with, like, what to make. And I thought this one would be fun. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to catch you for the next one, everybody. See you then. Bye for now, everybody.